Welcome back to Quick Tech Talk. Um, thanks for tuning in. I uh, wanted to do a video today on um, power supplies and how much wattage your computer really is using. Um, hopefully give you an idea of um, what type of power supply you should be buying. I know a lot of you are upgrading your systems, uh, building new systems, and you're unsure what power supply to go with. Um, a lot of people go with uh, go overzealous with the power supply, um, and a lot of people get a power supply way weaker than they should. Um, you know, if you get a power supply that's not enough, you're gonna, you know, have system errors, system crashes, blue screens, uh, all stuff you want to avoid. But if you're buying a power supply that's way over what you need, um, it's not going to be efficient because you're going to have so much power supply that's wasted, and you're not going to hit the power supply's efficiency point. Um, there's also the when you're looking at power supplies. I know you've probably seen the. Um, different ratings so like uh, silver platinum bronze um, 80 plus you know ratings um, basically all that means is that uh, when your power supply is under full load um, you're getting 80 percent efficiency um, and then the gold silver is just you know how tight that efficiency is anyway so I'm I have my uh, power uh, my uh, watt meter set up and um, I'm gonna be uh, just showing you guys some benchmarks um, of my system and uh, try out a couple games and then you can get an idea of what my system is and uh, what it's actually uh, using so hopefully that will give you a more informed decision when you're buying a power supply. Um, so my system right now I'm running a Ryzen 3700X with a MSI um, X570 chipset uh, motherboard, uh, 16 gigs DDR4 RAM, uh, 8 case fans, um, NVIDIA 2070 Super, uh, all-in-one water cooler, uh, two spinner hard drives, um, and a PCI Express uh, SSD, uh, all being powered by an uh, EVGA um, 750 watt gold rated uh, power supply. So uh, let's get started. Okay, um, so I have the, the uh, watt meter set up. I'm going to be running a various benchmarks to give you an idea of um, what my system is uh, pulling uh, when under various different loads. I'm going to start with um, CPU-Z's uh, stress CPU. So you can see right away um, it's currently up to 202. Now earlier I was running this with Prime95 and it was giving me about the same thing 202, 205. So um, right now the CPU is at a hundred percent load um, running at four gigahertz right now and there is no overclock on my CPU or the graphics card um, when I'm doing these tests but in general anyways I don't have any of them overclocked um, but if you did that would also you know add some um, extra usage to your um, the power supply Okay, so I'm going to stop this. You can see it's, it's pretty much peaked out at the 205 watt. Um, I'm going to launch the uh, Furmark uh, stress test for the GPU. And you can see you know, right now we're at about 365. Three, and that's a full load on the GPU. Um, so, yeah, it means pretty much topped out on 364. Three, yeah, 360 average, so I'm going to shut that down. Um, run the Heaven benchmark now. After I run the Heaven benchmark, I'm going to run that along with the CPU stress test so you can get an idea of what putting the GPU and the CPU under full load would look like. I am running this, uh, as you can see here, um, tessellation on extreme, quality high, uh, full screen, anti easling eight times. Okay, so right, it's going to jump, um, currently at 350, same as the uh, Furmark, just a little less, uh, hovering around 348, 352, not really moving much. So I'm going to go back and start the stress test on the CPU now, and then go back into the heaven, and this should jump, yep. Yeah right up to 415, 418, so yeah I mean it's definitely putting 
put an extra 65 watts of usage. So, um, but this is a worst case scenario, right? So, I mean, you're not gonna be running um, these benchmarks all the time, but just to give you an idea that if you, you do use your system for multiple things at once, or, there's a whole bunch of different scenarios, but this is just to give you an idea of, well, right now we're stressing out the CPU and the GPU, and it's at 420. So it isn't even using my full um, 750 watt power supply, but absolutely full load. So let me get out of this now. And I'm going to launch uh, Rainbow Six, just to give you an idea of what a typical game might use. Okay, so currently we're in uh, Rainbow Six Siege. You can see it's just about uh, just under 400 watts. There is nothing else running in the background, so um, yeah, 390, 392. All right, sorry, my camera died there. I meant to show you more of that uh, Rainbow Six Siege, but uh, I'm back at the desktop and I'm gonna launch uh, Reddit Redemption 2. Uh, I know that recently came out and uh, that's a pretty stressful game. Okay, so this is uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, just to give you a bit of an idea of what a uh, more recent title is going to pull, um, because this is a pretty stressful game on any system, uh, even the higher end ones. So as you can see, we're doing 360, 358, um, so around 360. Uh, if you noticed, uh, Rainbow Six Siege was pulling a little more, but I did uh, shut down my system and disconnect some the two spinner drives and a few of the fans just to give you a better idea of uh, if you don't have those things, what it will pull. Um, but if you did have a 2080 Ti, um, you could expect a you know obviously more power draw, maybe around uh, 40 more watts. Um, and then if you had, uh, you know, an like Intel CPU, one of the, like a 9900K or something, that's obviously going to draw uh, a lot more power as well. But, um, you know, if you had like a 3600 uh, or and a, uh, you know, Radeon RX 5500 or 5600, uh, you could uh, expect a lot less, um, you know. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an idea of what this game uh, it requires in terms of power. Um, it's quite surprising actually because I was expecting this to probably pull like 450 or more. So it's uh, surprising. Um, and like I said, this is ultra settings, uh, 1440p. Um, there's not many, um, there's not much hardware out there that can run this at 60 FPS ultra uh, 4K. So um, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to shut this down and uh, give you my final thoughts. Sorry that video ended abruptly. I shot that about two months ago, and uh, I think the time my camera died, uh, so I didn't get a chance to f film much more at the time. And but uh, I want to get this video wrapped up, <clears throat> give you a bit of closing thoughts. So hopefully, showing you the benchmarks, the stress testing utilities, and a bit of Rainbow Six Siege has helped. Gives you a bit of a gauge what you might need. Like I said at the time, I was running a 3700X, 16 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, 2070 Super with 8 case fans and a um, 360 uh, all-in-one cooler. So with all of that, you know, I was only, I think, pegging the power supply at, at most 420, um, <clears throat> 450. So whatever you think you need, you might need a lot less. Just use those online power supply calculators. Uh, figure out what you're going to need from those and then give yourself a room some room maybe 100 200 watts So if you want to upgrade do some more clocking in the future Maybe you want to go with a budget video card budget CPU and then you think you're going to upgrade down the road Even if you're going to buy top tier parts right now still give yourself a bit of room um, But don't go way outside of that because you will lose a lot of the efficiency from the power supply they are most efficient when they're running closer to the full capacity so keep that in mind. Um, the system behind me that's water cooled, that is a 2080 Ti with a 9900K. There's no overclock supplied yet, but um, it is running this power supply. Um, and I wouldn't go anything above this. 
Uh, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, you can get a $50 650 watt power supply or you can get a 200 watt, or sorry, $200, $200 uh, 650 watt power supply. What's the difference? Well, there's brand, there is uh, semi modular and modular. So the semi modular ones, uh, everything but the 24 pin and 8 pin are going to be modul or, yeah, modular. Um, <clears throat> And you know you can get some that are braided, some that are not braided, and then you know the big thing is the efficiency. They go all the way, I think, from the start of bronze and then or now white, uh, white, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, I don't know, diamond or or titanium. Um, <clears throat> so you get your different uh, you know ratings, and uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, different options with the power supply. So you can go really cheap or really expensive. I would not cheap out on your power supply. Um, I know it's sometimes you can save cutting corners on one part so you can spend more on another, but definitely don't cheap out on the power supply. Uh, like I said, whatever you think you're going to need from those calculators, get a little bit more and get yourself a decent brand power supply, at least bronze or hopefully gold rated. You'll thank yourself in the future. I have seen a lot of power supplies blow from using um, not enough and uh, <clears throat> I've seen you know, components get cooked because of faulty power supplies that were, you know, completely garbage brands or they just were not even close to being enough. So make sure you get yourself something decent and you'll thank yourself in the future and you won't have any issues and you'll hopefully have room to, um, you know, grow with the power supply. Also keep in mind that most people do keep their power supply for more than five years. If you're building systems, uh, I've quite often carried over power supplies from one system to another. Uh, to another. So, you know, if you think that you're gonna, you might only need like a, you know, a 550 now, uh, but you know, I don't know, a couple years from now you want to do a huge upgrade or something. Just give yourself that room. Get yourself a decent power supply that'll last a lot longer, and that can carry over to that next upgrade or that next complete build. So hopefully this information has been helpful, and um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll uh, try to answer what I can, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, if the video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.